Estamos ao vivo e a live! Oi todo mundo, bem-vindos, vejo que já tem um pessoal aqui, que bom ter vocês aqui comigo hoje na nossa live. Hoje uma live bem especial também, todas as lives são especiais, né? Porque eu só tenho o quê? Eu só tenho convidadas maravilhosas. Hoje a minha convidada é a Chantal, nossa Miss Curaçal 2020. E vai ser muito legal conversar com ela, porque eu já dei entrevistas para as mídias de coração, me receberam muito bem, e agora eu quero que vocês conheçam ela também um pouquinho, porque além de linda, ela é muito especial, eu sei que vocês vão se encantar com ela, assim como eu já me encantei. Boa noite para Paraíba, boa noite todo mundo, onde, de onde vocês são? Vão me dizendo aqui. Hum? Sim, em 1968, Curaçal ficou ali entre Curaçal e Brasil, o Miss Universo. Nossa, Marta Vasconcelos ganhou o concurso, mas foi um top 2 ali lindo que Curaçal e Brasil fez. E foi muito legal. Vamos ver se a gente repete este top este ano, Brasil. Vamos ver. Um beijo para a Bahia, para o Alagoas, para o Espírito Santo... Minas Gerais, Pará, Ceará, Fortaleza, Manaus, um beijo para vocês, Maranhão, ai que delícia, Natal, Pernambuco, Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, Santa Catarina, ai meu Deus, eu sempre faço isso, eu agora pego e coloco o quê? Eu vou fazer, <risos> não queria ter feito isso. Eu prendi um comentário, não era para prender o um comentário, gente. Espera aí que eu vou tirar o comentário. Tirei. E quem mais, Maranhão, que eu falei? Que o Grande do Sul, minha terra. Um beijo para vocês. Ceará, Ceará tá sempre em peso, né? Goiânia, Goiás, um beijo pro pessoal do centro. Rondônia, já fui para Rondônia, gente, já fui para Rondônia, lugar lindo. E daqui a pouquinho, então, eu vou chamar a minha Miss maravilhosa, Miss Curaçal, Chantal, para conversar com a gente. Vocês mandaram perguntas no meu Instagram, que eu farei para ela, então vocês estarão comigo nessa live. Fico muito feliz de ter a participação de vocês. Eu só não sei em que língua falaremos. Isso vai ser uma coisa discutida na hora, por quê? Porque em Curaçal eles falam papiamento, que eu achava que... Me disseram que ah, é igual o espanhol. Uh -uh. É bem difícil de entender. Então talvez a gente comece em papiamento para ver se, se funciona, porque daí vocês podem entender melhor. Senão a gente vai ter que ir para o inglês, porque realmente papiamento foi difícil. Eu dei uma entrevista em papiamento, completamente perdida fiquei. Saludos a Venezuela, Porto Alegre, Brasília, Fortaleza aqui, Lençóis Maranhenses, o que eu mais quero fazer o quê? Um ensaio nos Lençóis Maranhenses, gente. Seria lindo. Amazonas, também estou com vocês, meus amores. Estou com todos aí de Manaus, do Amazonas. Uma semana bem difícil para todos. E o nosso coração tá unido. Um beijo pro Canadá. Temos brasileiros no Canadá. Que lindo. Fico muito feliz de ver os brasileiros pelo mundo. Malaysia. Hello. Welcome to our life. Happy for having you here. Yeah. That's so nice. So, I will invite my friend Chantal to enter in our life. Let's wait. She she say hello. And what else? Mato Grosso, um beijo do Mato Grosso, um beijo do Paraná. Brasil todo aqui em peso, gente. Sim, em Curaçao eles falam na né, inglês também, então a Chantal fala inglês, Eu só acho que às vezes o inglês ele é menos tranquilo para o o público aqui do Brasil entender, né? Então, 
não sei por onde iremos. Eu sei que ela fala inglês muito bem, mas não sei se falaremos em inglês ou papiamento. Um, pois, data do concurso, pergunta que eu recebo todos os dias, inclusive de mim mesma, né? Eu penso, quando será? Quando será, Brasil? Não sabemos, está previsto para que ocorra entre abril e maio, não antes de abril, pode ser que sim, seja depois. Não temos, por causa da pandemia, não temos a data ainda. Claro que continuarei minhas aulas de passarela, sim, 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 já estou de volta a São Paulo, pronta para retomar meus treinamentos, tem muito ainda para ser feito, muito para treinar, até o último minuto eu estarei ensaiando para que tudo saia perfeito no mesmo universo. Eu que fiz, não, eu que fiz essa make nada, essa make quem fez hoje foi o Ronei, lindo, me maquiou, hoje eu quis botar um batom vermelho também para trazer mais vida. Eu amei a make que ele fez, gostaram? Achei bem linda. Um beijo pro Ceará. Gostaram do cabelo, né? Eu fico feliz que vocês tenham gostado. A gente deu essa iluminada nele. Eu acho que funcionou bastante. Deu, trouxe um pouco de leveza. Gostei também. Cadê meu TikTok, Brasil? Pois é, criei ele. Não comecei a postar ainda, mas ele está criado. Eu entrarei em ação em breve, ok? Aguardem o meu TikTok vindo por aí. Tchan, tchan, tchan. Ó, oh, aprendi outro comentário. Eu sou... A miss de vocês não é tão tecnológica. Mas um beijo pro Luiz Gonzaga aqui, que me chamou de maravilhosa. Muito obrigada, Luiz. Então, sai um novo episódio, creio que ainda é essa semana, porque os episódios têm que ir para a aprovação da organização, então está nesse processo, mas é para sair essa semana um novo episódio. Ensaios também, semana que vem teremos novos ensaios, disse Martina Brandes, minha diretora, então em breve teremos fotos novas para vocês. Sim, vocês merecem vídeo de passarela, providenciarei. Na minha próxima aula de passarela, farei vídeo especial para vocês. Esperando aqui, gostaria que Chantal se unisse à nossa live. Deixa eu convidar ela aqui. E já já ela vai estar aqui com a gente. Ai, vocês são, têm sido tão incríveis me apoiando. Quero agradecer, porque... Sem palavras. Sem palavras, quando eu vejo, às vezes, os sites internacionais que postaram coisas minhas e eu vou lá, vou dar um like, vou comentar. Quando eu vejo, vocês já comentaram, já botaram bandeira do Brasil. Todo mundo sabe que Brasil tem uma torcida muito forte esse ano. Estou muito feliz, muito grata por todo esse carinho, por todo esse apoio, viu? Sigo me dedicando ao máximo, porque eu faço isso por cada um de vocês que estão comigo nessa jornada. Teremos passarela única e diferenciada? Teremos, Brasil, teremos. Estamos trabalhando neste conceito de unicidade. Essa é a palavra. Uniqueness. Tcharam. Vocês são muito lindos. Se eu já vi o meu vestido da preliminar, está sendo feito, gente. Já vi sim, já provei. Foi muito emocionante. E está em processo de confecção. Já estou realizada. Me arrepio só de lembrar dele, porque é realmente muito bonito. Muito bonito. Eu adorei fazer a live com as latinas até agora, né? Tive live com Bolívia, com Colômbia, ontem com Panamá e sexta tenho com Nicarágua. E tá sendo muito gostoso fazer live com as latinas, é sempre uma troca muito gostosa, mas com todas as meninas, na verdade, porque de uma maneira ou de outra estamos todas vivendo esse mesmo sonho e somos companheiras desse sonho, então... Com fazer lives com as meninas do mundo inteiro, para mim, é algo muito especial. Ok. 
que mais vocês querem saber? Tchan, tchan, tchan. Todo mundo. Serão dois vestidos? Serão dois vestidos? Não sei. Não sei e... Não é nem que eu não queira contar. Eu realmente não sei ainda. Se serão dois, se será um. Eu vou deixar o meu coração decidir isso. Então, por enquanto, não posso responder para vocês porque eu não tenho essa resposta. Mas garanto que se tiverem dois, serão dois incríveis. Se tiver um, será um inesquecível. Então, fiquem tranquilos. Spoiler do traje típico, isso vocês podem pedir diretamente para a Martina Brand, minha diretora querida, porque ela detém todo esse segredo. Traje típico é segredo para a Miss Brasil também, tá? Então, estou na mesma situação que vocês, morrendo de curiosidade e vontade de provar esse traje típico, que eu sei que está ficando lindo, porque discutimos referências, discutimos ideias, agora depois disso... Está tudo nas mãos dela e eu sei que ela vai fazer algo incrível. Tchan, tchan, tchan. Um beijo para Presidente Figueiredo no Amazonas. Quero um... Gente, passei hoje... Alguém perguntaram, ah, pretende fazer live com a Miss Peru? Passei hoje o dia inteiro, vinha na minha cabeça, quero fazer live com a Peru, quero fazer live com a Peru. Espero fazer live com ela em breve, não tem marcado ainda, mas quero sim, porque ela é outra candidata que eu super admiro e vai ser muito legal fazer uma live com ela. Vamos pedir para que seja marcada essa live. Com as Filipinas também, Miss Índia. Quero live com todo mundo. Agora que a gente tem tempo até o concurso, quero live com todas elas. Para ser muito sincera, porque eu vou chegar lá, o quê? Conhecendo todas para poder aproveitar ao máximo essa experiência. Vai ser lindo. Para mim, está sendo muito legal poder ir conhecendo as meninas assim, aos pouquinhos. E qual é a cor? Vocês são fofas, né? Vocês acham realmente que podemos dizer a cor. Eu perco a minha coroa se eu contar a cor do meu vestido. Um beijo para o Gustavo Ribeiro, que é gaúcho, está aqui nesta live. A live com a Miss South Africa será que horas aqui no Brasil? Pois é, gente, amanhã, duas da tarde, temos live aqui no Brasil. É um horário, eu acho que é de noite lá na África do Sul, duas da tarde aqui. E amanhã todos vocês também podem acompanhar o meu takeover no MV lá no Eva Era, nesse perfil maravilhoso da Venezuela. Farei um takeover mostrando um pouquinho mais o meu dia a dia, comentando e conversando com o pessoal, vai ser muito legal. Agora a Chantal já está aqui, vou convidar ela, já está pronta para entrar. Ela, ela meio que entende português o que eu estou falando e ela está entendendo. So... Let's invite Miss Curaçao to go live with me tonight. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How, are How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I'm really happy for having you here. Me too. I'm so excited. Yeah, Brazilian fans were super excited because they knew i i did some interviews to curacao media and then they was like no we are we want miss curacao with you we want to know we want to know she better and it's very nice having you here thank you for accepting thank you for having me uh do you have maybe a phone uh how can i say microphone or something i cannot hear you You can hear me uh, just a second. Let yeah. me check if I have some. Okay. Ela vai achar um microfone que tá um pouquinho complicado. I am afraid I don't have one with me. I'm someone is going to check for me. Yeah, I'm reading your lips, 
because I cannot hear you actually. Oh uh, no, I hear you. Just no, now. No, now it's good. Now it's good. Okay. You can talk? Yes. Now it's better or not? Yeah, now it's perfect. Okay, I don't know okay. what happened, but Maybe now it's it was good. Just a white great, white great, 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 nice. Welcome then. <laughs> Are you in Curacao now? Yes, I'm in Curacao now. I've been here for almost 10 years now. 10 years, right? You yeah. were born in the Netherlands, right? Yes, I was born in the Netherlands and I moved a lot in the Netherlands and then I moved to Germany. And after my dad passed away, we decided to move to Curacao. And that's where my story started in Curacao. So. <laughs> Amazing. How old you were when you go went to Curacao? I think I was about 12 years old. So I was, I was still young, so teenager. And I went to high school here and just I had everything here. And why did your family choose Curacao? Well, it was, we moved a lot. So we ended up in Germany. We moved twice in Germany. And then my mom was like, okay, if we're moving again, we're going to a country that has a lot of sun, a lot of beaches. And then my mom was like, Curacao. And we, we were all like, okay, Curacao. <laughs> right. That's how it happened. It was just very out of nowhere, basically. Mm hmm And Curaçao, it's like uh, maybe a little bit far from Brazilian, so people don't know too much about Curaçao here. Could you please tell a little bit about Curaçao, what we can enjoy in Curaçao, how it looks like? <laughs> okay, Curaçao is a smaller, small island in the Caribbean, and of course we have the beach, the ocean, and everything, sun, sea, basically the Cari Caribbean dream. And then of course we have a lot of nature. Um, like the aloe vera farm, it's in Plantage where they um, grow aloe vera and it's really a big thing and it's close to our ranch where we work and at Curacao we have, at this moment we have four horses um, so it's also very fun to go hiking or go walking, riding with the horses and um, those are the things you can do, you can visit our city, uh, Punda, Otrobanda, uh, you can go shopping you can go out we have everything here we're small but we have a lot to offer amazing amazing i also love hiding horses and when i read you like the dogs as well you have seven dogs right i have yeah seven. that's awesome like yeah. seven dogs seven amazing dogs, yeah. and my mom was like okay no more dogs no more dogs and then we got five dogs and i was <laughs> like one more one more and she was like okay yes and nice. that's how it went and it's the same thing with the horses and the cats and now we have four horses and my mom's like no more and i'm like are you sure let's see <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly that's nice but you said you love horse riding as well do you have horses yeah. no i don't have i'm from the south of brazil it's a region where we have a lot of horses and like um like big fields for for any kind of like, it's a very natural place and then i i go there and i can hide horses for my friends but i don't live there so i don't have horses there there now but i, I really enjoy it since i was a kid it's it's my hobby yeah uh, same if you ever come to curacao you can ride or our, our, our horses. okay i would love it i would love it that's <laughs> nice do you have I'm sorry, uh, I can, siblings? I can't really hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Now I can, yeah. I think it's something with the internet connection. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But I do have three siblings. Um, I have an older sister, uh, two younger brothers. And one of them is right now in the Netherlands working. And the other one is um, also going to work in the Netherlands soon. And uh, my older sister and me uh, are working on the ranch together with my mom. And what about you? Do you have siblings? I have one little brother, not so little actually anymore. He's a man, <laughs> but he's younger than me. And yes, he's my best friend. He's everything to me. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I read that you start modeling very young, right? With 10 years yeah, old, you were modeling, yeah, right? Yeah. And then now you come to Miss Curacao last year, and now you are Miss Curacao, right? Yes. And then 
for you, what's the difference Julia, between... Julia, I can hear you again. No? Can you hear me now? I can't oh hear my anything. God. Can you hear me? No, testing, just a little testing. bit. It, it, it uh -huh. sounds very funny. Uh huh. Like like you before. Yeah, I'm. Ah, yeah, now it's now, back. Now, now I can hear you again. It's back. <laughs> okay. So, uh, for you, what's the main difference between modeling and being a beauty queen? How I do you see modeling, the difference? Modeling is more what you wear and not who you are. And being a beauty queen is more than just beauty. Of course, we're all beautiful, but we also have something to add to the world. Um, for example, um, I started doing equine therapy uh, for the children uh, with, for example, autism, depression, anxiety. And now that I have a platform, I can raise more awareness and I can tell my message to the world. I don't want everyone to know that's okay to be different and it's okay to celebrate your own uniqueness. And I think that's the main difference between modeling and beauty, beauty queen. Yeah, I saw your your video today about being unique and I absolutely agree. I believe this is the treasure that each one of us has and only you can be you, so you should do it on purpose, right? Yes. Yes, and that's what I'm also trying to teach the children uh, that it's okay to be, to be themselves, uh, to be confident in who they are and what they do. And I think that's very important. That's very beautiful, sure. And what are, people has had sent me some uh, questions for you, Brazilian fans. Yes. And one of them is, so far since you were crowned, which was your biggest challenge uh, during this preparation to Miss Universe? I think so far it's been a little bit hard for me to accept who I am and how I am. Because I didn't really know in the beginning how I was, what I liked, what I didn't like. And I had to start working on myself and I had to grow as a person. And slowly I started to see that it's okay to be you. Um, basically, I celebrated my own uniqueness. And that's why I made up the hashtag celebrate your uniqueness. Because once you start doing it, you can do anything. And because I know it's hard to... Um, work on yourself it can be very difficult I wanted to show everyone that even though it's difficult I still did it I still put in the effort and the time into changing who I am now uh, can you sorry. hear me yes I can just something I'm sorry no it's just the comments that were entering and then I couldn't see you. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe that this is the, the hardest part. We yeah. understand who we are and then accept that and yeah. embrace this. Embrace this. that part and work with it. And at the beginning, I had a lot of difficulties accepting and because I didn't really know who I was. And now that I am here, I'm happy with who I am. I wouldn't change anything anymore. Absolutely, absolutely. And what are your expectations to Miss Universe? <laughs> My expectations are uh, to continue being able to be able to raise more awareness. Um, for example, for I do my horse therapy, equine therapy, and that's what I want people to show to to know. I want everyone to know what it is, why we use it, and why it's so important for me. Um, and besides that, I expect to have lots of fun meeting new people and learning new things. I'm really excited to meet you and all the other girls. Sure, I, I believe this is the things. yeah, this is the most beautiful part of this competition. Like, yes, what sure. other event like? gather the whole world together like Miss Universe it is the only place so it's it's so powerful it's so beautiful yeah just let me translate to people because they are not understanding too much <laughs> Brazil, not everyone can can understand English so gente vocês estão dizendo que eu marquei a Natasha eu marquei a Natasha porque amanhã eu tenho live com a Natasha então eu tava só compartilhando o que a Natasha marcou tá então a live da Natasha é amanhã Hoje aqui com a Chantal, que a gente falou dela ontem na live, inclusive, com a, com a Miss Panamá. 
E eu estava conversando com ela e eu perguntei para ela o que foi mais difícil desde que ela foi eleita Miss Curaçao nesse processo de preparação para o Miss Universo. Ela disse que o maior desafio foi ela se autoconhecer e passar a se respeitar e se aceitar. Que isso para ela tem sido algo muito poderoso, que depois que ela entendeu quem ela é, ela entendeu que ela pode fazer qualquer coisa. Por isso que ela lançou a hashtag... Be yourself, embrace your uniqueness, que é seja você mesmo e abrace a sua singularidade. Ela ama cavalos, como vocês viram, ela ama cachorros, ela tem mais de sete, tem sete cachorros e mais não sei gatos e não sei quantos cavalos. Ela ama animais. Ela nasceu na Holanda, move, move, move. ela se mudou para a Alemanha e depois para o Curaçao, onde ela já vive há mais de 10 anos. E ela modela desde os 10 anos de idade, então ela tem muita experiência. And Chantal, from your modeling experience, what do you think you are going to use at Miss Universe? How it will help you to, to develop, to, to perform at Miss Universe? Um, in my modeling career, I mostly did um, catwalk, I did shows. And I think that's going to help me at Miss Universe because I have already been on the stage something like Miss Universe. So for me, I hope it will be easier to walk on the stage. And I think um, knowing that you have been on the stage before, it will be easier to walk. Sure, sure. And just like me, you were not expecting being the Miss Curacao this year, right? It was a, no. a surprise, right? Yeah. And I imagine you had another plans to your life and then everything had changed. How it changed and how was uh, this, this new adaptation to this new moment, to this challenge? So I was first runner up in 2019 and after that I decided to go to school and focus more on the future. Um, and then in the beginning of this year, we all had the lockdown. And during that lockdown, uh, the organization started asking me, would you like to be the next machine for Curacao? And I started thinking, and within, day, within days, I was like, yes, I want. That's what I want. And um, I still continue to go to school. I try to combine them, but so far it has been really difficult. And we also started with the horses. So I don't think I gave up anything to be Miss Universe Curacao. I just started to combine everything. And yeah, so far it has given me a lot, um, a lot of things. And I try to focus on everything. But for me right now, it's very important to do what feels good. And that's it. Amazing. And what are you studying? Um, right now I'm studying food and beverage manager. Ah, yes, that's true. I read about it. Okay. Uh, eu perguntei para ela como é que foi a surpresa de ser convidada para ser Miss Curaçao, porque assim como eu, ela também não esperava, ela tinha outros planos. E ela disse que foi uma linda surpresa, que ela aceitou logo de cara, porque era o sonho dela. Ela está na faculdade, ela está estudando administração de alimentos e bebidas. É, a gente não tem acho que esse curso aqui, mas é o que ela está estudando e ela está conciliando tudo. Ela não desistiu de nada, ela continua estudando e agora conciliando com o título de Miss Curaçao. And what is the most um, special part of being Miss Curaçao for you? I think the most special part is that I didn't see it coming. I had different plans, but it became so special having this honor rep representing my island and i feel so proud and i'm so happy that people are supporting me from all over the world and it's just amazing i think that's what makes it special the people who support you the people who stick by you and try to help you grow beautiful yes the same here in brazil for me i think the love that i received from the fans was something that it's like I'm an like I couldn't yeah. imagine it before and so strong it's so powerful I I, I feel really yeah. supported by my country and it's so beautiful let me make some questions that people send to you how okay you were modeling and then they ask yeah. how did you start 
thinking or decide to enter at Miss Curacao competition last year? Um, so last year I started modeling and basically in 2018 I stopped for a little and I stayed at home. Uh, my mom got sick so I decided okay I'm gonna let modeling be. I'm just gonna focus on me and my family and then I always wanted to participate but I never really went for it and I, I don't know why but then I started thinking okay what if I participate and then my sister just sent me the link and she's like now is your opportunity and I did and then before I knew it I was going to um uh, meet the other girls and I was in Miss Universe for South 2019 and it basically runs very fast yet I have been wanting to do it for so long and now I finally did it amazing amazing eu perguntei como é que ela decidiu participar ela disse que não tinha pensado de nisso antes mas a irmã dela começou a insistir para ela entrar então ela se inscreveu e as coisas começaram a fluir e hoje ela mal pode acreditar que ela é Miss Curaçao. Uh, do you know any uh, Brazilian artists like Anita or something? Um, no, not really. I know I heard really. some Brazilian songs because my in China when I work in China as a model, I had a Brazilian roommate. Oh, okay. she's teaching me all kinds of words and all kinds of things and songs, but I don't remember any of the names. But I just remember it's really good music. Nice. And the and food is amazing. The food, you like it? Yes. What's the yes, tradition? I love it. What's the traditional food in Curaçao? I would say um, one of the traditional foods is pumpkin pumpkin pancakes. Pumpkin pancakes. Okay. Yes. It's and do you eat it alone or with syrup or with what? You can eat it with everything. Um, normally, I eat it with white cream. It's not very healthy, but it's really good. Nice. Eu perguntei para ela qual é a comida típica de Curaçao e ela disse que panquecas de abóbora. Panquecas de abóbora e que ela come com sour cream, que é um... É um sour cream, que eu não sei nem como traduzir. Mas é um creme branco com um pouquinho azedinho. E panquecas de abóbora. Que engraçado, né? Que divertido. O mundo é muito lindo. Um, let's see. Ah, what were the happiest day of your life? My happiest day of... Ooh, I think it was the day I realized that everything in the future is something that I can decide who is in my life, what's in my life. And the day I started realizing that all my work that I've been um, putting into myself all the time and effort, that I can realize, uh, can do anything I want, anything I can put my mind to can happen. And that's when I started to be so much happier. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Which sentence? better represents you. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yes. Which sentence better represents you? Which se sentence better represents me? Yes. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> I mean, uh, they ask uh, if you have some sentence like uh, uh, as uh, as we are talking and I was reading about you, I would say like be yourself or embrace your re uniqueness or something like this. That's representing represents uh, the no, way I that you think you and do you understand? Like quotes? quotes, yes, quotes. <laughs> yes, I was a little bit confused. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, sorry. It's just I think the best quote to describe me is. Um, it's okay to be different, to celebrate your own uniqueness. And that's what I'm trying to teach everyone. Basically, that's the quote. Beautiful. Eh, vocês perguntaram uma frase que representasse ela. E ela disse que é... A frase que representa ela é Está tudo bem ser diferente. Que a gente abrace a nossa singularidade e celebre isso todos os dias. Ah, uh, people said that they love the traditional, how to say, traditional clothes from Curacao. 
at Miss Universe. They said it's always so, so colorful, so beautiful. They are very yes. excited to see your traditional clothes. Yeah, I can imagine. It's going to be so exciting wearing that on the stage. Yes, that will be beautiful. People ask if, are you afraid to not uh, go swell with your roommate? Like, do you think it can happen? I, I never think about it. I just think that it will be awesome. It I just ever think occurred it, to you? I think, I think many girls go in with the same mindset. It will be awesome. I'm, my roommate is going to be awesome. And I do too, because I'm here. I'm there for a, a fun time. I'm not going to argue with anyone and i think that's most important your mindset if you have the right mindset then your own roommate will be great absolutely i agree vocês perguntaram se ela tem medo de não se dar bem com a colega de quarto dela e ela disse que não que ela na cabeça dela ela tá indo para se divertir para ter uma ótima experiência então não tem como ela indo proposta a isso ter uma má experiência com a colega de quarto dela que ela acredita muito no poder do que a gente cria na nossa mente People and I, we are inviting you to come to Brazil and enjoy Brazilian Carnival. They said you must come and I say to please, let's organize a Brazilian Carnival. Um, which Miss Universe inspire you? I think so far, all of the girls who won all the Miss Universe have something to say, have a, have a me message. So I can't really pick a favorite because all of them are unique. All of them are so beautiful and they all seem so um, kind. So it's really hard for me to pick just one because I love <laughs> one of them. I understand you. Perguntei qual era a Miss Universe favorita dela e ela disse que ela admira cada uma delas. Cada uma tem algo muito especial, muito único. Então, ela não tem como escolher uma só. And people also asked for you what was the biggest I'm challenge. Sorry, Julia, I can't hear you. It's just, you sound funny again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's wait a little bit. Let's see. Can you hear me now? Yes, now I can hear you just fine. Okay. Uh, people also asked for you, which was the biggest challenge we had to face during the pandemic? I think the hardest thing was to stay in our houses and not see your friends or family who lives in another country or just a few miles away. And I think besides that, it was just hard accepting what was going on around the world. It was just not our island or country. It's all over the world. I think it's very unreal to me it felt unreal for very long and just seeing what it did to our island and now we're just um getting better again and slowly um getting back to, back to where we were it's just still feels unreal and did did the vaccine started in curacao no not yet in the netherlands it has started as far as i know but here, not yet. But we're also close. I think within a few months, uh, it will okay. be here. Nice, nice. Yeah, the and same in Brazil. Brazil. How's it going in Brazil? Well, we started, but with the more vulnerable vulnerable groups. So like, like me, I don't know when I will have the vaccine. Probably in the middle of the year or so. So I don't know. But yes, we yeah. started this week. This week. Okay, that's yeah. good. We, yeah, we are very excited about it. And mm -hmm. I believe yeah. the whole world is because it's a very important step thing. forward. Yes, yes. We, we can yeah. see the, the light in the, in the end of the tunnel. Exactly. Yes. Which, which is your biggest challenge for Miss Universe? Because... Um, I think there are not a lot of things I still struggle with. For me, it's it doesn't seem easy or anything, but I I'm just so excited, and that's mostly what I feel about Miss Universe. There's nothing I don't look forward to, and I, even though it, sometimes it will be hard uh, being ho being away from home, I still think I'm so 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 excited that nothing can stop me. That's amazing. Yes, I have the same feeling. I'm just like. 
really really excited and when we are yeah, there we with like all the growth everything is so intense we we almost will have no time to miss i think home because i think time yeah, will fly true. we still have each other and we're just so busy and yes yeah. yes yeah. i think it's too intense and the time will fly yeah i'm pretty sure you're right which is which is your favorite color favorite color oh Mm, I think I like pink. I like pink a lot. Pink? And I'm wearing pink. Yes. I asked her what was her favorite color. She said it's rose. Inclusive, she's wearing rose today. Let's see. Let's see. How do you deal with the pressure that we receive on social media? How do you deal with it? I think at first I was after after interview I was just reading the comments and I would see what people say but I stopped doing that because I don't think it really matters what they think it's it's what I think how things went and that's how the pressure basically went away I do think it's important what people have to say but I also think it's important how you say it because most of the time it's not even what you say it, but how you say it and if you don't have anything um, positive to add or anything that can help someone out, you shouldn't say it. Perfect. Absolutely agree. Perguntei para ela como ela lida com a pressão nas redes sociais e ela disse que no início ela lia o que, por exemplo, as pessoas diziam depois de uma entrevista, mas que depois ela parou de ler porque ela se deu conta que não interessa muito o que as pessoas dizem nesse sentido e sim como ela se sentiu dando aquela entrevista que ela deu o melhor dela. E que, claro que ela gosta de ouvir a opinião dos outros, mas que para ela importa muito mais como essa opinião é dada do que a opinião em si, porque é, você não pode simplesmente jogar a sua opinião em cima dos outros, senão que cuidar da maneira como você coloca, se você vai estar agregando alguma coisa. Super concordo com ela, acho muito certo. I also try to protect myself and don't read all the comments, all everything, because, I mean... We already have like a lot of uh, expectations about ourselves. We already yes. need to deal with our own expectations, <laughs> yes. own self pressure. So, we, if we really allow the whole country to in, like enter in our safe zone, we we cannot do it. So I, I agree with you when we yes, should be true. very selective when we yeah. we choose what we yeah, check, what, we what and, not. Yeah, Us. yeah. absolutely. But, how does it feel to be Miss, Miss Brazil? It's awesome because I'm very, very patriotic. Like I love my country so hard. I also have uh, a experience in China. So living there, I always try to represent Brazil in who I am. So I knew that as a Brazilian, everything I do when I am out of my country, it's an image of my country. So. I always bring Brazil in my, my heart. So now being Miss Brazil is a huge honor to me. And I feel very proud to represent the diversity of Brazilian people because we are really a mixed, uh, mixed race country. So it's, it's beautiful to see how different beauties, how different people we have here. So my, my duty is to try to represent this diversity. And I feel so supported. I, I feel so embraced by by everyone here. So for me, it's a, a hot moment in my life and I, I will never forget this. For me, it's really special. And of course, being part of Miss Universe, this so beautiful and empowered platform, it's it's a huge honor as well because yes, we, we are having like highlights and a spot to speak and be here to the whole world so it's so important so powerful so i feel very blessed to to have these opportunities yes it's really beautiful that's amazing yeah i, I can agree with that beautiful and let's see what else people send so many messages i don't know if you can <laughs> let's see no, it's like, it's so many, so many, so many. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of questions. Yeah, they were really excited. That's so nice. That's really nice. 
Uh, how is going so far your preparation to Miss Universe? Like, uh, what are you rehearsing? What are you focusing? How is it? Um, so far, my preparations has been have been going really good. Um, I've been doing uh, catwalk, uh, makeup, hair classes, and all those kinds of things. And I've been also focusing on um, working on myself. Um, and that's for me is very important. But so far, it's going really well. And there's not a thing I would change. I just like how everything is going. I like what we're doing. And I think that when it's Miss, after Miss Universe, I will really miss training every day. Absolutely, <laughs> me too. I think it's like, for me, Miss Universe already started. Like it's now, we are living it, right? It's not just when we are there. So I will also miss all this preparation time and training it's it's really important i, I really enjoy it it's Me a very too. good moment to self-growth and to learn a lot so i i am taking this opportunity as well sure. yeah you just learn how to deal with new things how to um yeah basically you just learn a whole the whole new ver version of yourself and that's that's just amazing absolutely absolutely Oh, Chantal, it's so nice to talk to you. I'm looking forward to meeting you at Miss Universe. I hope we get in the same group so we can interact a lot. And yes, I wish all the best in your preparation and in this month before Miss Universe. I hope you enjoy your, your title, you stay safe and stay healthy and, and really live this moment intense and as, as better as you can and I hope receive like a uh, host to you in the future in Brazil in Brazilian carnival people will love having you here so you are most welcome for sure yes let's organize it if you I want I want you one oh I hope to see you one day in here Sure, Curaçao is beautiful. I would love visit Curaçao one day for sure. Let's organize this exchange between countries. And I want yes, to thank please. all. I want to thank everyone from Curaçao that having been sent so much love to me. You are so special. Thank you so much. And I hope we can repeat the top two of. 1968 where the top two at Miss Universe were Miss Curacao and Miss Brazil so I hope we can repeat this year this top two I think it would be nice <laughs> yes me too I think nice. it would be very nice very happy yeah. it would be beautiful so if you want to say something to Brazilian yeah. people please feel free to to let your message to them as well I just want to say thank you for all the love and support I've been getting from Brazil. It means a lot to me. I really, really love Brazil. I love the language and the food, of course. And I can't wait to visit one day. Nice. Beautiful. So see you at Miss Universe and let's keep in touch and keep talking until there. Yes, for sure. Sure. Bye. Bye-bye.